President Biden has called Beijing xenophobic. China has strongly reacted and has labeled Washington a hypocrite. Biden's comments came as he made his re-election pitch to steel workers in an event in the swing state of Pennsylvania. Biden highlighted China's economic woes. He also accused Beijing for cheating for unfair trade practices as he called for higher tariffs on Chinese steel and aluminum in order to boost the American steel sector. They've got a population that is more people in retirement than working. They're not, in, they're not importing any, they're not bringing, they're, they're xenophobic, no, nobody coming else coming in. They've got real problems. I'm not looking for a fight with China. I'm looking for competition, but fair competition. While Biden made these claims, Beijing, in its response, has called out, quote, U.S. hypocrisy. I have already answered this question earlier. China is aware of the relevant reports. China would like to ask, are you talking about China or the U.S. itself? The latest clash comes days after the two leaders held a telephone call. During these talks, they reportedly clashed over the U.S. trade restrictions on technology as well as Taiwan. The two sides have been engaging in diplomatic efforts to stabilize ties and keep lines of communication open. Biden and Xi also met in person back in November of last year in San Francisco on the sidelines of the APEC summit. In the latest high-profile visit, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen visited Beijing last week, while Secretary of State Anthony Blinken is also slated to visit the nation's suit. However, major contentions remain over disputes ranging from technology and trade to human rights and geopolitical issues like Taiwan. U.S. this week also announced a probe into China's trade practices in the shipbuilding, maritime and logistics sectors. China's Commerce Ministry hit back, saying the probe was, quote, full of false accusations. It added the probe misinterprets normal trade and investment activities as harming U.S. national security and blaming China for its own industrial problems. For all the latest news, download the WeOn app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.